Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We talked the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, Facebook. And good morning, Instagram. And good morning, YouTube. Gabby! Good morning, Gabby. The one that keeps me sane, the one that keeps me healthy. <laughs> I love my therapist. My Gabby, she's here. Good morning, Book of Faces. How are you? All right. We're going to do uh, the coffee break for today. We're going to pull some tarot cards for the week. And if we have time, we're going to pull an Oracle card by, um, I have here the Anatomy of a Witch by Laura Tempest-Sakharoff. So if we have time, we're going to pull one of these. And I have the uh, Rider Wise Smith for the card of the day on the tarot. So let's, let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right. I think I've shuffled. Okay. One more time. Okay. One more time. All right. Let's see. What is the universe wanting us to see for this week? And I have two cards. Card number one. Slow down. <laughs> slow down. So we have, hi Janet. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we have, um, the Knight of swords reverse, which is telling us to slow down, slow the mind down a little bit or mind is getting ahead of us. And hi Casey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, the the knight of swords is telling us you know slow down a little bit your mind is moving way too quickly and you're probably catastrophizing um things that are not even tangible real and and there uh on the physical world <sighs> happens to all of us we all think faster than we probably should. Uh, we make scenarios in our heads faster than we get benefit to. So slow down if you can and quiet the mind a little bit. You know, I've been reading about meditation and it really helps a lot to like, you know, kind of like oh, slow down for a little bit. The second card that we have is the page of wands, which is a card of creation in itself. It's a card of action and movement, but it's not that super quickly pace of the knight of swords, you know, so we're talking about yes, move but be more about tangible things that are present and bring action, not just thoughts and not just impulsive thoughts or uncontrollable thoughts or catastrophic thoughts, but bring in action slowly to kind of like get your creative creativity juices going and slowly but surely move away from being in your mind all the time to now bring action into things. So I hope this week presents itself on a pace in which you can actually slow down your mind and come to concrete, concrete actions that will help you um, 
get out of that loop, you know, that we do all the time in our minds. So with that said, uh, March is going to be a very cool month for me, and I hope you join me. Um, I'm going to be doing, uh, I think I'm going to call it planting the seeds of our desire. Uh, but I'm not sure yet what the name is going to be, but it's, it's going to have that theme of spring and seeds and all that. And that event is going to happen in Ravenswood on the 18th of March. So keep your eye out for that. It's going to be announced very, very soon. Uh, on March 12th, I have the class on cleansing spells. And then on March 19th, I will be at the Buji Bazaar. Uh, Buji Bazaar selling my art and doing readings and all that. And on the 26th, I will be doing the Magical Menagerie. So mark your calendars, save the date. It's going to be a whole range of very cool events coming on March. And obviously, we're going to have a full uh, new moon ceremony at the Maliway Brothers. The new moon ceremony is going to be on Friday the, Friday the 24th. So start marking those calendars and catch me if you can. Come see me in person if you need a reading privately. Come see me in person or let's do it online. All right, let's see what Oracle card comes for us. Can you believe that March is already around the corner? I will be three years vegan on March 1st. Ooh, nourish. We have the card of Nourish. Honey, I was just talking about food and we got Nourish. All right, so let's see. New Moon Nourish. And it reads, if you've been feeling stagnant or uninspired, it could be time to try to try some new flavors, activities, media, or social circles to shake things up. Challenge yourself to go outside of your comfort zone. See what's recommended by the staff at the library or the bookshop. Or try today's special at the cafe. Are you feeling lucky? This is so cool. This is so cool. So, if you've been feeling stagnant or uninspired, it could be time to try some new flavors, activities, media, or social circles to shake things up. Challenge yourself to go outside of your comfort zone and see what's recommended by the staff at the library or the bookshop. Or try today's special at the cafe. Are you feeling lucky? It's all about nourishing yourself with new flavors. It's funny because the, the Mexica people, the so-called Aztec, um, talk a lot about flavors. And there is a very nice um, allegory, metaphor about flavors and life. You know, you have your sweet, your savory, your, um, oh, how do you say agrio? I forgot. Sour. So sweet, savory, sour, and hot. The four flavors of life. Hi, Leilani, and hi, Janet. I think I already said hi to Janet. And hi, Cookie76 and La Dancy Nancy. Welcome, 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 everybody. So, catch me if you can. March is going to be busy. There's going to be a whole bunch of events. Uh, some I'm teaching, some I'm uh, facilitating ceremonies, and some I'm doing tarot readings and selling my art and my products. So, you know, follow, subscribe to my um, link tree so you can see all of the events there. And until we meet again, never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Facebook.